how to use FTP and GoDaddy.com. First of all, what is FTP? FTP means file transfer protocol. It is used to copy a file from one host to another. So it's simple. It's nothing hard. As long as you keep up with this tutorial, you'll be alright. The tutorial is based on GoDaddy.com. So you must have GoDaddy hosting for this. If not, then I'll make another video or you send me a message for your host if I can. Don't be shy to ask. So we're going to start off by going to Internet Explorer and the top you want to go to the address bar. So first you go off to GoDaddy.com. You log in. You'll see these tabs right here. You want to click on the last tab. It says My Account. And the screen will be brought up to you. Um, web hosting. You're gonna click on web hosting. You go to launch, and this screen will be brought up to you. You want to click to make a new user on your FTP. Simply, you can click right here on add user. If if it, if it ever changes and you don't see that anymore, you could just go to settings and manage FTP users, which that's the way I'm gonna do it for you guys. Alright, I already added my user, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So you click add FTP user, and then and you'll type in your username you want for that, and then you'll type in your, your password. The, ca the password must have one capital letter. So you have to put a capital letter and a number. So I'll use example 2. Okay, path use FTP username as directory what that's gonna do is gonna make a new folder called example and this user will only have access to that folder and the files in that folder hosting root what that will do is that this user would have access to all the sites files starting from the from the home directory so I'm gonna use that I use that for this example down here exclusive to and then all you do is click on save All right, all right. The password cannot contain the username. All right, so you could change that and put Bella two. Make sure it has a capital letter in there. It don't have to be in the front. It could be anywhere. And then I'm gonna click on hosting root and click save. Oh my God! All right, blah blah. All right, it's already used by another cast customer. So you could just change it up. Alright, I'm not gonna go deep into that. You guys get the point. You click on save on status, you'll see setup pending. It takes about ten minutes for it to be to be like up and live. So once it's up, once you press press save, you're ready to go. Now there's a lot of expensive software out there um to use your FTP. I'm gonna show you guys a simple one, which is just your internet browser. So you want to go to once it's set up, you go to internet browser and you type on the top FTP dot your site domain name. So exquisitelab dot com. That's mine. So you click OK and you'll be greeted with this up here. So you have to log in. So you use the username that you had on GoDaddy. Mine's I already have it set up. I think it was that. I think it was X2 and then your password and click log on it should connect you okay if you're using Windows 7 which is what I'm using right now it's gonna show you this right here to view this to view this FTP site in Windows Explorer, click on page and then click open FTP site in Windows Explorer. Right now you can just see the files. You can't really mess with them or do anything to them. It shows you which ones are directories and which ones are files. So I click on the directory um for example game covers. It'll come out with all the like the images that I have uploaded right here. So I'm gonna show you an example. There you go. Alright. So what you, we're gonna go we're gonna do that. So you're gonna click on page right here on the side. And you'll see all the way at the bottom is gonna say open FTP in Windows Explorer. You click on that, you wanna allow it, and then you log in again. 
So mine was exquisite x two, and then your password. You could you could say the password if you want. I'm not gonna save it right now. So just click click log on. Wow! Look now, you guys are you know you guys can manage all your files here. You guys could um add files, upload files, delete files, just by like from your computer you could just drag them over there. So let me show you guys an example. You don't need that anymore. So I'm just going to my documents. Uh, for example, I'll just go to beats and sounds, and we'll use uh let's use something 50 cents. Let's go to Dr. Dre. Let's go to some bass, and we're gonna upload this file real quick. Just right, let me show you guys so you guys can see better. Um, in case you didn't know, in Windows 7, if you drag a a like a a page on the side, it'll make it like like half of the screen. And if you drag it up, it'll make it full screen. Just a little thing in case you guys didn't know. All right, so I'm gonna just drag this and drop it into my FTP into the FTP. So it uploads. When it's doing that, it was uploading already. So like there, that's it. Your file is already online. It's, it's hard, all right. So now, let me show you guys how to view the file. So you just wanna copy the name, and then you wanna go into the. Oh, just just some to let you guys know. Um, where's where they go? The file was uploaded on my on my, on the root of my site. So that means it's like right on the main domain. So you want to go to um, Internet Explorer, and I'll type in exquisitelab.com slash, and then I'm gonna put the name that I gave the file, and then just click enter. As you guys can see, the file downloaded and it opened in my Windows Media Player because it was a, it was a sound. So there you guys go. You guys could hear it. It's, it works. So now you can use, you know, they. I mean, that's a way to upload files. In case you didn't know how, um, I hope this was. Um, there's better. There's better software out there for FTP, like FileZilla, um, Qt FTP, which is paid for. Uh, I'll be making a a tutorial on that coming up. But this is just a simple way and the free way and easy way. You don't need nothing but your Internet Explorer. I don't know if it works on Firefox or anything else. But it works for sure on Internet Explorer, so I hope that was helpful for you guys, and I hope you guys are getting it now, and you guys know what FTP is.